You see, growing up, I really always liked the villains in stories. I was always the kid who wanted to dress up in a cape and be evil. I first found the book in 2005, and I remember just being really taken, first of all, with the illustrations, because they already, to me, looked like puppets. I immediately thought, oh, this could be a really perfect show, a bonkers kind of four-hander where everybody does a bit of everything. I did a bit of uh, research and development at, here at The Little Angel, actually. For various reasons, the rights for the book kind of weren't available, so that kind of stayed in wait. And then it was until about 2018 when I kind of dug out this old sketchbook and then emailed Neil Gaiman and his agent and said, can I come and talk to you about this? The tone of the illustrations in the original book vary from sort of 3D collage, and then you've got the kind of wolves who are scratchier, kind of drawn elements, and there's also quite a lot of shadows. It felt really exciting to combine different forms and different aesthetics in the show's puppetry. I think my favorite puppet in the show is probably Lucy. I wanted Lucy to be the only kind of fully formed character. Her family only exists kind of from the waist up, whereas Lucy is fully formed, arms and legs, and very kind of articulate. And similarly, I think I wanted the wolves to feel quite abstract, so giving them a kind of scratchy fabric body that kind of ends in these straggly legs makes them more something that Lucy has imagined. It's been 18 years since I originally found the book, so seeing how things have kind of grown and evolved since then has been really interesting. So things like the wolves, I've still kind of got a sketch that I did in 2005, where it's kind of this long, kind of straggly, one-person puppet. Through all the different stages of R&D, I've kind of made a real effort to find that kind of puppet that can play the tense and the silly side. I was really aware of wanting the kind of world around Lucy to also be able to be as animated as she is. So in a way, our kind of walls in the show are also puppets as well as the walls. So it's a very kind of tactile, animated sort of universe as well as the puppets themselves.